Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking into one of the worst serial killers in the former Czechoslovakia, Vaklak Mrazek. Vaklav Mrazek was born on the 22nd of October 1925 in the small town of Sviranov in the Kladno district, a small village in what was then Czechoslovakia. One of 12 children, his family lived in extreme poverty, with four of his siblings dying as children, and the entire family lived in a parked car. As a child, he started stealing food and clothing to the knowledge of his parents, with his dad teaching him how to steal from his siblings, particularly his brother, Karel. Receiving a conviction for theft in 1941, Marazak spent 18 months in prison. With a desperate desire to become a police officer or join the army, because of his small stature and his criminal conviction, this never came to fruition. Eventually, in 1946, at the age of 21, he enlisted as an army escort to a humanitarian convoy which was sent to Romania and Bulgaria during the communist occupation of both countries. However, the Czechoslovakian soldiers in this humanitarian convoy were incredibly corrupt. They gradually looted humanitarian aid and distributed it for sexual services, with Marazek openly participating. Himself and his comrades once fired on a moving train, killing everyone that they saw. Marazek gained a strong interest in both committing murder, seeing holding a gun as a sense of superiority, and would also begin to fantasize about the murders after they were completed. He also developed an interest in porn. Gradually, he started to gain a sexual proclivity, and even tried to break into a morgue to commit necrophilia. Eventually, Marazek moved in with a partner and had several children with a pair living in Chomutov. Tramping around the city, he felt compelled to sexually assault young women, and eventually this manifested into murder with a desire to commit necrophilia. On the 22nd of August 1951, he murdered 15-year-old Hanna Cholubova with three sticks while she was grazing cows near the forest. Dragging the body to a less exposed area, he had sexual intercourse with the body of Cholubova. Less than one month later, on the 16th of September 1951, he met 31-year-old Bronisla Pajukova on a road near Chomutov. He shot Pajukova three times with a revolver, killing her. Dragging her corpse across a stream, he had sex with her and dragged her into the water. Marazek attempted to kill two other girls using a knife, and despite attacking one girl with 18 stab wounds, in her case all were superficial wounds, and the other victim was attacked in the jaw, with both surviving. Due to the shallow depth of the wound, it was theorised by police that the attacker was short and could have been a woman. On the 1st of June 1952, Marazek walked past an inn where a dance party was taking place. Seeing dancing girls made him feel sexually excited and he decided to commit another attack. Stealing a bike from the front of a pub, he circled around Chomutov looking for a victim. Finding 19-year-old Elena Marman, he shot her three times, missing her twice with the bullets going through the collar of her head and onto her hair before shooting her in the head. Stepping forward to shoot her again, the bullet jammed. Murazak had been masturbating during the time of the attack and, having reached sexual ejaculation, had lost interest and left her. Marman told police that she thought that she had been shot by a young man. One hour later, he found 16-year-old Mari Dvorakova, who was waiting for a friend in Na Seniku. Having gone out with a third individual, the friend took the third individual home on his motorcycle. Finding Dvorakova, Marazek shot her once, killing her. He then dragged the body, tore open the clothes with a knife, and had sex with her corpse. He wore Dvorakova's shoes and covered himself in her clothes while having sex with her body. On the 14th of July 1954, Marazek met Jirina Helmichova, who was 16 years old, in a forest where she went to meet friends, but she had arrived too late. Shooting Helmichova in the face, he had sex with her. 
on the 9th of August 1955, on a road between Chomotov and Brezeniek, he came across couple Libuse Dufkova, aged 19, and her 26-year-old partner, Karel Tilifaj, aged 26. Shooting Tilifaj three times and having no interest in him as he was male, he robbed Tilifaj and abandoned the body in surrounding vegetation. Dukova pretended to be dead, and believing that Mrazek had left, she stood up and ran. Mrazek noticed and shot her again in the back, proceeding to commit necrophilia. Additionally, Mrazek also strangled other women who survived and managed to call for help, the youngest of whom was six years old. He had elected not to kill children. Czechoslovakian police began to show interest in the killings with the Bronisalv operation initiated and 25,000 suspects checked. Feeling concerned that the police were closing in on him, Mrazek moved to Kladnov, the largest city in the central Bohemian region and the 13th largest city in what is now the Czech Republic. On the night of the 9th of November 1956, Mrazek broke into the house of colleague Ladislav Bernan, aged 57. With Bernan having a night shift, Mrazek believed that the house was abandoned. While going into the house, Brennan's wife, 57-year-old Alzbeta Beranova, woke up and recognised him, confronting him. Hitting Beranova's head several times with an axe, Mrazek killed her. He then forced her 10-year-old granddaughter, Jamila, to help him find money and valuables and then raped her prior to leaving the home. Covering his face with a handkerchief, Jamila was not able to identify Marazek. Marazek then moved to Libusin, a then mining town in the central Bohemian region, and worked at a spa. On the 17th of March 1957, one of the miners found Marazek searching his clothes in the locker room and called the police with a collection of thefts having taken place at the mine. During a house search of Mrazek's house, mementos of his victims were found, as well as a wafer caliber 7.65mm pistol, which was determined to have been the murder weapon used during the murders in the Chomotov region. It was found that almost his entire apartment was equipped with stolen goods. Mrazek only admitted to a few thefts. In reality, he had committed 33 cases of burglary and house break-ins, had stolen 10 linens, 16 pets, and 6 bicycles, as well as committing 10 petty thefts. Placed in a cell with an informant, Mrazek did not confide anything. Only when the results of a ballistic expertise came in did Mrazek confess to all of the murders and his other crimes. Mrazek believed that Czechoslovakia did not have the death penalty and that he would only face a maximum of 10 years imprisonment for his crimes. However, this was not the case with Czechoslovakia maintaining the death penalty throughout the country's history, and indeed it was only abandoned during the Czechoslovak Federation in 1990. Held at Pankrak prison in Prague, Mrazek was sentenced to death for seven murders, four attempted murders, and sexual abuse on the 7th of December 1957. Just over three weeks later, on the 29th of December 1957, he was executed by hanging. Following an autopsy, he was cremated in Motol Crematorium in Prague on the 30th of December. His brother, Karol, was sentenced to 12 years for thefts that he had committed with Mrazek. The case of Mrazek loosely inspired the 1966 Czechoslovakian film The Killer Hides a Face. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.